from Habishek. So, Habishek, are you there? Hi. Ah, I lost Habishek. Hello. 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 Yes. I heard you. Hi, Nicholas, can you hear me? Yeah, perfect. Okay. So, so can you try to share your screen and uh, I will uh, I will leave the stage when everything will be okay for you. Okay, so I think you can. Yes, it's perfect. Thank you, Abhishek. So stage is yours. Yeah. So so hi uh, hi team. Uh, my name is Abhishek Kaul, and I'm part of the industrial sector team in Singapore, and I lead the industry initiatives around sustainability with our customers. Now today I am going to talk to you about the work that we are doing with Alliance to End Plastic Waste to close the plastic waste data gap that exists. Okay. So um, let's go to the next one. So uh, the IBM sustainability framework, just give me a second, Google stop. Uh, the the IBM sustainability framework uh, is is um, is something that we have come up with, where IBM is enabling its clients um, to offer digital solutions for decarbonization, circularity, and responsible sourcing and sustainable design. Now, um, the the key uh, tenets of the framework are to build a net zero imperative, uh, have circularity and responsible sourcing, uh, and have sustainable design. So there are various uh, initiatives that we are doing with our customers around GHG management, around climate risk, uh, around energy transformation, responsible sourcing, and circularity. Now, uh, we started this journey with, with Alliance to End Plastic Waste around a year back. Uh, now, the Alliance uh, itself is an NGO that has been formed by all the players in the plastic value chain. So brands like PNG, Henkel, uh, companies uh, who are producing plastic like BASF, Dow, and then from where the, the raw materials are coming, uh, like Shell, are all pledged to come together and, and raise $1.5 billion to address the leakage of plastic in the environment. The, the principles are to act now and uh, have a collective action and, and not to make a think tank, but to really do interventions. So the Alliance is investing into physical projects, into like recycling plants, uh, MRFs, uh, setting up those lines so that plastic can get recycled they are also working with um, the startup community and again investing in various startups to drive innovation they are educating uh, the companies uh, the the governments about how to manage uh, the plastic waste reduce the mismanaged waste and also driving various cleanup initiatives in the community so so that being said i think um, one of the things um, that, that the, 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 the Alliance, when they started working with us, was around the leakage data. Now, when I say the leakage data, uh, currently, and this is a study by IBM, and there is uh, an estimated 60% of, of the data is missing uh, to make measure the progress towards uh, UN SDGs. Now, there is a significant uh, work and, and value that can be achieved if we are able to combine the data with the digital technologies and collective intelligence to provide the, the measurements uh, of, of progress towards the 
sustainability goals that we have. So uh, we started this co-creation journey where uh, we set up to build PRISM as a tool, which is Plastic Recovery Insights and Steering Model. The key objective of this tool was to look at how we can fill the data gaps for plastic leakage. So collate all the information. Today, there is governments uh, publishing plastic data. There is uh, UN organizations, again, publishing plastic data. And the, the there is, however, there is no single place or single go-to place where uh, you can get all the data collated at one place. You you understand what is the plastic um, like leakage waste that is being collected. What is the plastic waste that is getting generated? What is the leakage that is happening? How many? Um, what are the government policies? And and trying to derive insights to where you need to do interventions that create the maximum impact. So, it's, so eventually it's all about how can I do projects, how can I reduce the leakage, and what interventions to do where is, 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 is difficult to, to kind of put a handle on if you don't have the data to understand where the leakage is happening. So this is what the, the vision of the tool is to collate all the information and drive uh, in interventions in reducing plastic waste. Um, the, the, this tool is being built, uh, is being co-created, I would say, with IBM services in Singapore. Uh, it is designed as a scalable platform with lots of multi-dimension analysis and uh, targeted uh, for, a, for a platform for multiple customers. So it's it's end of the day, it's, it's kind of started through through the Alliance, but uh, we, we have started now, firstly, it was internal to the Alliance. As of now, we are onboarding members, member companies, and then slowly we are trying to expand it to the academia, to the civil society, and then to the public, so that this becomes a, a tool for the public good. And um, they, that's, that's the scaling that we're looking on this platform. Um, to, to go further and, and dive a little bit deep into what, what are the data domains that this platform has. So it has uh, data coming from geography in terms of demographic, socioeconomic. It has data from waste management, which includes municipal solid waste, uh, plastic collection, municipal solid waste, plastic generation, what are the government policies and regulation, plastic leakage, uh, plastic consumption data, as well as the infrastructure facilities, because a lot of times infrastructure facilities play a key role in, in terms of determining the leakage of the environment. There's a lot of mismanaged uh, waste. And if, if you have an open kind of a dump versus a proper landfill, um, there is a significant difference in the leakage that happens in, in these two kind of um, waste infrastructures. Uh, we are also looking at ingesting the data from the Alliance projects, the member projects, and the non-member projects. So all of this data from the multiple domains is being ingested both at a country level and at a city city level, city boundary level, so that there is um, enough kind of insights that get generated to take the right decisions uh, for, for investing in projects or doing projects which can eventually lead to reduction in the waste. Um, this, from an IBM perspective, we, we started using, uh, we started on this journey using our design thinking methodology, where we understood, okay, what are the, what is the Alliance trying to do? Uh, what are the members trying to do? So kind of defining the user personas, defining the user stories, and then using our IBM garage approach of building MVPs, which is minimum viable products, uh, we started working with the Alliance to build out these MVPs, having uh, a release of some kind of functionality coming in every two weeks, and then scaling that out. So that's what we have been doing with, with the Alliance to build out the vision for, for PRISM. 
uh, if you look at where we are in the journey, uh, we started uh, around six months back and we have completed two MVPs uh, as of date. Now, the first MVP was to build more the foundation. So have the city level, country level data. Then uh, we were kind of filling in the user friendly dashboards, the maps. We've built it on IBM cloud infrastructure, uh, kind of made it scalable and put in various projects. Uh, in the second MVP that we just completed now, we have enriched it further and kind of had the various visualization and the additional KPIs getting added, uh, enriched our data repository, put in self-service analytics for, for kind of analyzing the data, uh, have put in the intelligent workflows and have started modeling uh, to fill the data gaps. A lot of times uh, when we look at the data, uh, you would have data that is uh, somewhat factual. Some of it is modeled. There are studies done in say 2012, 2016, 2020. Uh, all studies have a certain methodology and, and they are kind of, again, uh, looking at the data, doing some sort of um, collection and then some, some sort of reporting. So trying to get uh, all of these multi-domain data points together so that there is, they kind of you can relate to each other, all the data points kind of sync up, and then you can assess the actual kind of situation of leakage is very important. Uh, what we are doing now is we are actually developing the whole governance mechanism uh, in terms of how the assessors and the governance council will be set up. We are also planning uh, to rank the data sources, uh, do the archetype modeling, which is more around, okay, if a particular city in a particular with a particular socioeconomic status, demographic status, with a certain infrastructure capability is having this kind of leakage, then uh, for another city, we can kind of extrapolate with the similar characteristics or similar archetype. Uh, it will have similar characteristics. Uh, we are also kind of automating a lot of the data processing part in terms of web scraping and having um, the ability uh, for various stakeholders to showcase their projects. Uh, subsequently, we do plan to kind of put in uh, certain knowledge management, knowledge sharing capability in the platform where we can share more information uh, with our stakeholders in terms of, okay, what, what are the kind of, um, what is recycled, recyclable waste? What can you do to say, reduce your mismanaged infrastructure waste if you have in a particular area? What, what, what has worked other places? Uh, Alliance is doing a lot of projects, so they have a lot of experience. And how do you bring that knowledge to wider, wider community, to the Alliance members and into the public to leverage on, on the work that they're doing? So kind of build on that. And then finally, uh, how can we enable transactions on, on, on recycling? And that would mean how does the brand then get linked up with the recyclers? And then there is more transactions happening because today there is a uh, fairly low amount of transactions that happen on recycled waste. So that's how the, the, the project vision is and how it's building out uh, in future. And uh, hopefully if, if we have this conference next year, I'll be able to talk more about what we have accomplished in, in the next uh, this year or so. So um, what I wanted to do is show a brief demo. So I've put in a small recording uh, and this is the live tool. It's already uh, in beta version. It is available on this website. Uh, currently, it is uh, in closed beta, which means only the Alliance members have access to it. So in case you happen to be part of the Alliance to end plastic waste, you are a member, I would highly encourage you to request for access. And uh, if you're thinking about coming onto this tool, then please do contact the Alliance for membership. So that will be good. And we really want this, this tool to kind of get used by more and more people. Um, so we have plastic waste heat maps and data tables. Uh, in the heat maps, we have, as I said, um, plastic consumption data. We have MSW generation data. We have plastic waste generated data, MSW collected data, plastic waste collected data, the plastic leakage, the infrastructure, and the government policies. Um, then uh, if you kind of go ahead, uh, we have uh, various tabs that are there uh, which show on the uh, various things. In the infrastructure side, um, I think I just yeah. So um, in the uh, infrastructure side, uh, 
So on the infrastructure side, we have the sorting facilities, we have the recycling facilities, uh, we have the landfills, we have the thermal waste treatment plants, informal waste treatments, and also we are kind of putting out the, the projects that are being done. And also we have ranked the government policies and, and provided um, a, a view of the policy itself. Um, if you go ahead, uh, we have got the, um, uh, once you go down to the country level, we are putting up shape files to define the region boundaries and we have data for those region boundaries. And we are also kind of providing the leakage, the basic information, uh, the leakage rates. And again, as I said, there are multiple studies that provide multiple data points and also around the type of plastic consumed. So, so or not all plastic, so some plastic is less harmful, some is more harmful. So kind of uh, doing that, that breakup of plastic. And um, then we have the table views where all this data is available uh, in terms of uh, various countries. And um, you can kind of get to the data and you can look at the data and you can look at the data points. Um, and uh, you can look at from the source of the data in terms of where the data is coming from and you can select the data point that you want to look at. So for each data point, we have the source that has been defined uh, in the system. So that is already available. Um, then subsequently, um, uh, we have the data points uh, for them, for the uh, waste infrastructure, again, showing all the waste infrastructure that is there. Um, and in terms of the um, materials that are there, again, in terms of what the waste infrastructure is processing, at, at various uh, places. Um, subsequently, um, we do have the government policy. So in terms of what policies are there and, and then uh, what are the policies that various countries have implemented? Is it published? Is it draft? And we are trying to rank that also. Um, after that, uh, we, we have a glossary and reference. And then finally, we have self-service where we have put in self-service analytics tools. And if somebody is interested to analyze certain things, he can come here, he can actually click on things and, and he can uh, say, example, plastic consumption collection by economic ways, he can select, he can drag, and he can get the charts and dashboards that he wants to do to analyze his information, uh, to understand what, what is going on uh, and, and to kind of take decisions. Um, various data points are available. And uh, this is what, um, this is, I would say, a brief preview of, of this tool and uh, hopefully gives a good idea of what, what um, is, is already being done. Now, um, if I go forward, um, what, what we have done is we have built it on an open and a scalable architecture. Uh, in terms of the architecture side, we have um, started off from the data sources. So we are kind of ingesting multiple data sources. We have a data layer where we are processing the data. All of it is secured. We have got data pipelines, we have got uh, event processing, we are storing the data and managing the data. Uh, then we have got the analytics layer where we are running various reports, map views, uh, we are publishing the APIs. For self-service, we have put in Tableau, advanced analytics, we are, we are looking at some of the analytics solutions. And then we finally have the, the, the visualization layer, uh, which is on, on Angular and, and Cloud Foundry. Uh, and authenticating all of it using uh, AD. Um, just to give slightly detailed view on the architecture, um, so so for the people who who want to understand more of how we did it um, and um, what is this whole MVP process, happy to answer those questions. Uh, but in short, we start off from from sprints. We do every two weeks. We build it out. We build a certain functionality. We demonstrate it. We show it is working, and then we move ahead. And uh, we have been able to onboard um, around more than 200 members now on the portal. And they're all using it on this, this architecture platform that we have built. Um, I think to conclude, uh, what, what we have done here is uh, we have built the foundation uh, for, for, for this PRISM tool. Uh, there is further enrichment that we are working on more on the modeling side, architect modeling to fill those data gaps and to, to make it more robust on a data side. Uh, we are looking at data acquisition. So we are looking at acquiring data from multiple other customers and, and see how that can be done, as well as uh, we are uh, building the whole governance structure 
for this um, for this tool where we would have a governance council we'll have assessors uh, who will then be able to put in data so if you're sitting in south africa you know you have good data you can upload data into the tool it will go through the governance council and will get published on the portal so we are trying to build it out so that um, it becomes a public good where everybody pumps in data it convenes the data and then it, it serves the wider public in terms of uh, decisions and intervention that can be taken we are also putting out projects, so projects uh, of alliance as well as member projects, to showcase the impact that is the, the, that is being achieved um, through the interventions. And uh, the key and the last point is that collaboration is key. Uh, it is important to have collaboration across uh, teams to really uh, have uh, an August, across organizations to contribute to this and then build it out so that it can help. Uh, everybody in in reducing the plastic waste. Okay. So that's it that I had. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Abhishek. Time. <laughs> it's perfect. Uh, let's move to the Queen session. Thank you for your presentation. You talk about uh, collaboration. So, do you share some uh, data? Some data outside the islands, or do you have plan to open some uh, some data or some APIs outside the islands? Yes. So the the plan is to open up. Uh, as of now, it's more uh, to the alliance members. So we we have um, uh, the the around eighty odd members of the alliance uh, who have contributed to to the alliance. So it's open to all of them. They can request for a login and come on. Um, we are looking how we can both sides. So we are looking at how we can ingest certain APIs. So we are working at some partners who can then give us some APIs to ingest the data. And then once we collate all the data, we are going to offer the APIs uh, where people can pull out the data and then kind of use it uh, for their purpose. Okay. Thanks a lot, Abhishek. Thanks for your presentation and for your time. So.